So here we are tasked with calculating the number of oxygen atoms in a 140 gram sample of iron 3 oxide, and they give us the chemical formula. So let's map out where we're going here. So we have a mass. We have a mass in grams. Okay. We are uh, tasked with finding the number of oxygen atoms. So we need to go from mass. Our next stop would be moles. So we could go from a mass of iron 3 oxide to moles of iron 3 oxide. How do we do that? Well, in order to go from mass to moles, we need molar mass. That'll help us to do that. And then we can go from moles of iron 3 oxide to the number of iron 3 oxide formula units. So right here, this number could represent anything. It'd be atoms, molecules, ions, formula units, whatever we have. It's the number of things, okay? How do we get from moles to number of things? We need Avogadro's number. So once we get from moles to the number, in this case, this would be formula units, this being an ionic compound. How do we get from number of formula units to the number of oxygen atoms? Well, we can go one more step, oxygen atoms. We'd use the chemical formula to get that. Now this is the approach I choose to take. You could take a different approach if you like, um, and you'll notice different explanations in Alex. You just have to choose the approach that works best for you and how you process these problems. But this is the approach I choose to take. So we have our mass. Uh, it's 140 grams of Fe2O3. Let's begin. First, we need the molar mass of iron 3 oxide in order to uh, convert from a mass to moles of iron, iron uh, 3 oxide. So what is the molar mass? Let's find it. We can find the molar mass by finding the formula weight. In one formula unit of Fe2O3, I have, of course, iron and I have oxygen. I have two iron atoms, and each iron atom has a, uh, an atomic mass of 55.845 AMUs. I have three oxygen atoms, and each oxygen atom has an atomic mass of 15.9994 AMUs. Let's get a total here. That total will be numerically equivalent to the molar mass. 2 times 55.845 plus 3 times 15.9994 is 159.6882 AMUs. That's the formula weight. So the molar mass is 159. 0.6882 grams per mole. So that's our first conversion factor. We can express it like this. In one mole of Fe2O3, there are 159.6882 grams of Fe2O3. Let's continue on. Now we are here. Let's get from moles of Fe2O3 to uh, to the number of formula units of Fe2O3. And a formula unit is just what we, the word we use when we have an ionic compound. We use molecules for molecular compounds, but for ionic compounds, we'll say we have a certain number of formula units. So uh, we can do this easy because we know Avogadro's number. 
Avogadro's number tells us how many things we have in a mole. So because right now grams is canceled and we have moles of Fe203, I'm going to put moles on mole of Fe203 is equal to Avogadro's number of um, Fe203 formula units. Okay, let's continue on. Notice moles of Fe203 cancels, and now I have the, uh, some number of Fe203 formula units. Okay, let's do our third conversion factor. In one formula unit of Fe203, what's our endpoint? We want oxygen atoms. How many oxygen atoms are in one formula unit of Fe203? Let's look at the chemical formula again. Fe2O3. In one formula unit of this, there are three oxygen atoms. Three oxygen atoms. This cancels. That unit cancels, and I'm left with oxygen atoms for my unit. So let's do the math. We have 10, open parentheses, 1 divided by 159.6. 882, close parentheses, 6.022 e to the 23 over 1, close parentheses, 3 over 1, close parentheses. I get 1.1313 times 10 to the 23 oxygen atoms. A huge number. They want this to force significant digits, so 1.131 times 10 to the 23 oxygen atoms.